fume when somebody cuts you off in traffic or when somebody refuses to cooperate with you like your grandchild or your spouse. Anger is a very difficult emotion. You know, we're taught to accept our emotions, that feelings are neither right nor wrong and they're neither bad or good and we should express them. But anger is a tricky one. My name is Lorraine, my channel is Lowe's Life and Lessons, and we talk about a variety of things here. And today we're going to talk about some hints about how to control our temper. I came across a section of the Mayo Clinic website and they talk about some tips to help control your temper. The first one is think before you speak. You know, sometimes when our emotions get the best of us, we just blurt out things and we say hurtful things and really things that we would never say if we weren't upset. And these things go out in the universe and they stay there forever. You can't unsay them. You can't take them back. They just live in people's hearts and souls and sometimes they can be really damaging in relationships. In the heat of the moment, it's very easy to say something that you will immediately regret. So just take a deep breath, give yourself a few moments to just think before you say anything. As soon as you're thinking clearly, express your thoughts in a clear, calm, non-confrontational way. State your concerns using I statements and don't hurt other people with your words. Take a time out. If you know that a certain situation is going to irritate you or stress you out, just take a few moments, try to withdraw from the situation and just meditate for a few moments. A few moments of quiet time will help you feel better prepared to handle what's ahead. Another way to keep your anger under control is instead of focusing on what makes you mad, Focus on a solution. For example, if your spouse is always late for dinner, schedule meal times a little bit later or plan to eat on your own a few evenings a week. Understand that some things are completely out of your control and be realistic about the things that you can change and the things that you can't change and modify your expectations. Remember, anger seldom makes things any better and so often makes things worse. The best thing is to try to avoid it completely. When we're angry, it's easy to blame or criticize, but it seldom resolves the issue. Instead of doing that, simply use again those I statements. Be respectful and specific. Instead of saying you never do any housework, say something like, I was upset when you left the table and didn't offer to help with the dishes. Don't hold a grudge. Forgiveness is a powerful tool. It makes you and the other person live a much more peaceful, relaxed life. If you allow anger to crowd out all those positive feelings, then there is a chance that you'll be swallowed up by all those negative feelings, all those feelings of bitterness, and we don't want that. Use humor to release tensions. You know, some things are just not worth fighting about or arguing about, and humor can go a long way to just lightening up the situation. Learning to control anger can be a challenge at times. Sometimes we need help. Sometimes the root of our anger or the intensity of our anger doesn't have much to do with the issue at hand. Sometimes it has to do with things that happened way back in our childhood or past experiences or past traumas that we've endured. And sometimes we might need therapy to deal with those triggers maybe. Or we can join anger management groups, whatever it takes. We don't want anger in our life to control us. Anger is an emotion and it's a healthy emotion like all emotions. And we do need to develop skills to express it in a way that is going to keep our relationship strong and healthy and positive. Thank you for joining me today. What do you think of that emotion, anger? Do you sometimes have trouble controlling your anger? I know I certainly do, but I do know that during my long life, 76 years, I have developed a few skills that I know how to deal with my anger. And I have to say that I have learned to not be angry quite so much and quite so often. And at the same type of things that used to make me angry, say 20, 30, 40 years ago. I love you all so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.